Hello friends, today we will discuss on the subject negotiable instruments. We know that normally it's in the business situations we use certain instruments for trade. Why? Because for making payments or receiving the payments. When we make or receive the payments, gone are the days where we are dependent on cash. Now we know that normally the government has come with uh, digit digitalization. Narendra Modi government in its uh, DG Dan Mela in uh, December, 2000, uh, December 2016, 30th, he has announced that normally in going for digital payments is better. Why? Because there is no risk of carrying cash, no risk of non receiving the payments, no risk of fake notes, etc. So, in such case, normally you can see the, what has happened today is use of more digital currencies than normal currencies, paper currencies. So, what is important today is normally let us understand how this is legally viable and how we can find that normally these contracts are legally tendered in the business transactions. So, one thing let me tell you, coming to the point, negotiable instrument is any instrument in writing, any instrument which is in writing where there is an involvement of two parties, where there is a legal validity for that in the business. Such type of instruments is called as negotiable instruments. Let me repeat this, any instrument in writing which is authorized, which is legally tendered in the business and which carries validity even in the court of law and in normal business activities can be called as a negotiable instrument. Negotiable instrument is coming under the Negotiable Instrument Act 1881. Okay. So, so, what are these particular negotiable instruments? What are its features? Now, let us discuss in detail. Negotiable instrument has uh, has got legal validity and normally it is usually used in the business for carrying out the transactions. Okay. The following are the features. First one is it must be in writing. Orally, if anything is told, it cannot be treated as a negotiable instrument. It does not have any validity and it does not carry any importance as it will not prov provide any evidence for the transaction. So, it must be in writing. Secondly, writing should be in nor not in normal paper, it must be in bonded paper itself. One uh, second thing. So, it must, uh, it must be in writing in a bonded paper affixed by two parties with proper terms and conditions. Second, third thing is normally again there must be minimum two parties in negotiable instruments. It must be between uh, two parties. These parties can be individuals or firm or any trust also where normally the business takes place, between whom the business is taking place. And uh, these negotiable instrument, uh, uh, these negotiable, negotiable instruments are unconditional in nature. There must not be any kind of conditions after this instrument has been issued. Okay, whatever conditions are there, it must be coming in terms and conditions within the instrument, whatever is mentioned. For example, if A promises to pay, pay, pay back money order is borrowed from B for a minimum period of 30 days. So, you must write very clearly in that negotiable instrument that he is going to pay back to the said amount say 200 rupees to say the person B within 30 days stipulated from the date of writing this instrument. Then it carries a validity. Next important thing is normally there must be minimum two witnesses legally two witnesses are required and they, these two witnesses have to again sign saying that normally they have acknowledged the respective instrument that is one thing which is important here and whatever they say the, the negotiable instrument is carried out normally and say that a negotiable instrument must be coming within the purview of business that is more important and then the negotiable instruments normally again should have the following formalities first one is date very important thing is date indicates when the transaction has taken place. Second one is name of the parties, whoever are the parties involved. So, there is thereafter once the party's name is written in negotiable instrument, there is no chance or no interference of any other party other than those parties whose name is measured in the instrument. That is one thing. And the third thing is normally see the purpose, purpose of negotiable instrument, whether it is normally again the amount borrowed or contract signed and with the terms of contract. And the third thing is normally whether it is for normally the future money to be received or whether it is normally the, the promise to again uh, commit with the EMIs as Bajaj FinServe and other people are signing today. So, they enter into the agreement between normally those people who purchase electronic equipments from authorized dealers. And these people again sign the promissory note where wherein normally the respective customer promises to pay the respective money on stipulated day, date on EMI basis, equated monthly installment basis. Okay, that is one side. So, there is nominally legal validity for this. So, any point of time if the if there is a failure observed in making the payments. So, in such case 
they can directly prosecute the respective parties because of failure to make payments and legal action can be initiated. This is one thing. And uh, what, uh, in, uh, after this normally the uh, negotiable instrument must also come under normally see the following terms and conditions. First one is normally again to terms and conditions whatever is mentioned it should be clear between the parties. It must be concrete and concise. It must also see that normally see the respective parties honor this negotiable instruments on time. Failing which the easiest option is normally again say telling them normally see to again honor the contract within a time period. Of, say in other words coming for a compromise. Second important option here is normally again stepping into the court with all valid evidences, documents and facts and proceeding in the court. So these things are there. So to sum up what I can say is normally say the negotiable instruments carry validity in the court, negotiable uh, instruments carry normally again legal tender in the business also, negotiable instrument is a better way for doing the businesses. Okay. In the next part we will discuss the instruments in the case of negotiable instrument. What all instruments come in negotiable instruments, let us discuss that in the next part. Thank you.